I don't know what I don't know where this goes now, other than because he has been kind of absolved, Greg Berhalter, and that no um, no further action or punitive action uh, is recommended in this report. He is and continues to be now a I guess a quote unquote viable candidate for the head coaching job, but uh, I I I I think it's hard now for the federation uh, to continue on with him. But theoretically, he is still up for the job right now. I agree with you. They keep saying he remains a candidate, but he's not. There's no world in which a new GM looking to put his stamp on things, looking to signal a fresh start as his first act is going to rehire Greg Berhalter. So he's not going to be the coach when he otherwise might have been had none of this come to light. And Gio is going to remain on the team. So in that sense, you're right. The reign is win. But also to your point, I could see... Greg Berhalter getting an MLS coaching job in 2023 before I could see Claudio Reyna getting a front office job. I might be wrong about that, my, but my sense is that he's been made really toxic by this whole situation. Uh, yeah, he has. And, you know, I think that, you know, I, I think I, 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 I tweeted out yesterday that that he made a mistake and we we all make mistakes. And that mistake, like I said, was overstepping the bounds. And there's no way they can put that genie back in the bottle. It is it is there. And toxic, I don't know. I think that that's, that's a little strong. I think that ultimately humans, we are we are forgiving. I did think that the um, that the statement that the Reynas put out through their agent uh, was a little weird in that if they just owned it, apologized this this will go away people will move on and i do think people are ultimately humans are forgiving and they would have moved on and yet in this statement they said that there's a whole other side to this story which kind of leaves it open for more for more chapters you like that clip well my state of the union podcast drops every week subscribe now on apple podcasts spotify or wherever you get your podcasts you like that clip well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.